easier to talk um, when I can see you guys, but I guess I can't help that, so. <clears throat> Um, so there was a couple things I wanted to talk to you all about. Things have been kind of escalating about a couple things. And, right, and that's, that's it, is just some misunderstandings and things. And I'm the kind of person that likes to sit back and see how things kind of play out a little bit. But when it's time to come forward to talk, that's what we need to do. I'm always a very honest person. I've told you guys that before. And um, I'm, I don't play games. I don't play games with saying this to one person and saying that to another person. I'm very honest with my feelings. And I think you guys, most of you all know me well enough, even through the cam, to know that um, I, I, am, I am who I am. I don't, I don't play games. So I just need to clear the air about some things. Um, and one of them, as you probably know, is about the um, the surprise group, and but there's some other couple things too. And to keep my thoughts straight, I went ahead and wrote things down. So I'm just going to read it, and um, then at the end, if you have any questions, then we'll we can talk. I'll be glad to answer questions. Um, uh, anything that you want. Um, there was something else I wanted to say. Um, most, a lot of you people probably don't even realize that there's a few, few discords going on. Uh, and for those, that's fine. But a lot of you know that there has been a few things that's been going on that's um, been uh, a little bit hard for me to keep, keep listening to and knowing about some of this, other than even the surprise group. So I know there's a lot of you that's on the surprise group. So let me just read here what I have, and then I'll be glad to talk to you at the end. The first part is about the surprise group, and what I did was I wrote, I have the copy of the, of the emails that I've been doing with the surprise group. This, and I'm addressing this to all of the surprise group, not just any particular people, but to everybody. And some of this you already know because it was part of it was printed already yesterday. I believe it was yesterday on the surprise group. For those that don't know, this is what I originally wrote. Uh, I was just informed that someone might be thinking of buying a generator for the rescue center. I'm not sure where this started from, so I'm asking a few people about this. Just wanted to pass on that for the expense of a generator, we really don't need one. We might only lose power three or four times a year, rarely for more than 15 minutes at a time. Granted, a couple years ago we were without power for three years, for, th for three days, but that, that's a very isolated case. So I felt it's not worth the expense of a generator. It's such a very nice gesture, though but not a necessity of the rescue center. If you know anything about this, feel free to call me. People give, me, give so much to the rescue center, I don't want to wring anyone's purse strings. Take care and um, let me know. So this is the response that I had gotten back. And this is, this is I'm, I want to be very open with this because I don't want any hurt feelings on any route. I want everybody to be in the know. And that's partly sometimes what happens is this person knows this, this person knows this, and I feel in this case everybody needs to know what's going on. The response I got back was, I just saw your email and have it posted on the group page. Please know that this was only a discussion on the page and nothing like this would have been done without some contact with the center. I am going to restate this. It was only a discussion. Some of the members were worried when the cam was out due to your provider being out. Um, now, I just want to pause there a minute. The other night, our, our new stream did go down, but that didn't have, just so you guys know, that didn't have anything to do with electricity. That was you stream. I do not want to stop the group, the group discussing ideas, even though they may not come out to be feasible in the end. Now to my problem. This is going to get the group upset again because someone has leaked information. I know that there are people in the group that is trying to get it closed down. 
This is not fair to those who have worked on this. I guess at this point, my question to you is, do you want to close the surprise group? This was never meant to cause problems for you, only to allow those that love the center to be able to do extra things that are either needed or fun, and to please let um, the group know. So this is my response to that, and, and I appreciated that response. That was very good. This is my response back, and this was today. Thank you for getting back to me. I appreciate it. First, I want to tell you and all of you, actually, that was in, that is involved with the um, uh, two events here. Um, first, I want to tell you that the two events that you and the surprise group did, the Christmas and the floor, was so absolutely awesome. And I am also grateful from the bottom of my, of my heart for this support. It has meant a lot to me, and knowing that it was given with love even increases my gratitude. Secondly, I would like to express my thanks to you for to to the group for arranging mm -hmm. these two events. And I also understand the fun part of what everybody did for that. It was fun for you guys and, and it was fun for me. You all sure pulled mm -hmm. off two big events without me knowing about it. Now to figure out the future of all this. Even before there was leaked information I have been soul searching about this surprise group. There are several reasons that has caused me concern about, about this group. And there's three reasons. And the first one is, I don't want people to think FFRC keeps asking and asking and asking for money. Some people can give and some cannot. Simply supporting this organization with well wishes is important to me. It doesn't always have to be that money. Just your well wishes is very important to me. Number two, in all the years that I've ran this rescue center, I have always had to be accountable for every penny received and spent by way of cash or check or PayPal donations. I think it's important for anyone that donates to the rescue center to donate directly to the rescue center. It, this is not a trust issue, and I want to reiterate that. This is not a trust issue. This is a bookkeeping issue only, and it's easier for me to keep track of donations if it's direct rather than through a second route. And number three is this, this rescue center has always had future plans that we would love to meet as time goes on. Here at the rescue center, um, we do have long-term plans here. These plans are all in a time frame, money permitting. If people want and can afford a donation to the rescue center, after our medical and operational bills are met, any excess money is and will continue to be put into account, an account designated for these future plans that we have. With this surprise group asking for financial support, I worry that to meet our regular obligations and our long-term plans, people will tire of contrib contributing to this cause, and then we would not be able to manage our long-term goals. I was asked if I would like to have this group closed. I hope everyone understands when I say that, yes, I would like to have this surprise group closed. The good intentions, the financial support of the Christmas party, and the floor fund has been very, very, very much appreciated. For those people that have contributed, whether it's financially or in good wishes to this surprise group, I would love to continue to have the support. It's important to me and the rescue center. This rescue center depends 100% on support, financially, whether it's financially or moral support, to operate. Everyone has something of value for the rescue center, whether it's ideas, suggestions, donations, votes, Good thoughts. And then I just said thank you. So just to kind of recap that a little bit is that because of those three reasons, um, I do think that I, I don't have any control over the surprise group. You guys, some of you guys have that. 
and I, I wrote on here, please understand something about my thoughts on the surprise group. It is not really, this whole thing is not about the generator or who told me about that discussion. That is not the issue, and that is what shouldn't be the big picture. That's not what the issue is. Don't lose sight of the real picture. Again, it's basically three things. I don't want people to think FFRC is asking and asking for money all the time. Secondly, I feel strongly that FFRC has to be accountable for every penny that is donated. To do this, the donations need to be given directly to FFRC. And thirdly, the future plans that I have for the rescue center may not be achieved if don de donated money is designated for other things. Now, I have gotten word back that, um, thank you, Bantry. I have gotten word back that maybe some of the people don't want to close down the surprise group because of because of projects that is of non-money projects that might be going on and that it may not be fair to the members of the group that cannot participate due to finances from feeling that they are doing something. You know what? You guys can do anything you want, whether you have this group or not. But please, please, please keep in mind what I have just said. I mean, if you guys want to come up with some other fun ideas, not financially bearing, you can do that. But you can also do that in PMs and, you know, all those kind of things. But this surprise group, or keep it as a surprise group, but keep it as a non-money bearing group. Non-money bearing group. Um, but again, I am not, I, I'm not even a member of the surprise group, and that's fine. <laughs> Um, so this is up to the people that's involved, whether it's closed or not. So I leave it in those hands, and um, you know my feelings on it. And I do think the fun things that you guys have done sometimes are fun, And but I think that there's other ways of doing it rather than to have a group that is bound by, um, well, I'm just going to leave it, leave it as that. So... I have some other things, though, that I really, really wanted to talk about. These are uh, a lot of the volunteers and my friends that know me know well that when there's discord or any kind of problems, that I'm the kind that likes to sit back, not get too involved in other people's things, and let things settle down. And nine times out of ten, things do settle down, and it's just fine. But there's some things that has been happening lately that I'm just going to get it all out on the table right now with everybody. Please keep in mind as I'm reading this that I think you guys are all awesome. And I'm not talking about 99% of you. I'm talking about a few other select um, people that pop on that have caused us some problems. So I'm just going to read this and get this off my chest and then we'll go from there. Uh, there's a friend of mine who is a volunteer who has posted something on the FFRC Chatters Facebook just a week ago. The content of this message was simply to state that the conflicts and petty disagreements that were being discussed on that Facebook was causing her such grief that she wasn't sure that she even wanted to volunteer anymore. This person is precious to me and to FFRC and I was terribly sad that the tension was possibly causing her from not coming anymore. She also stated in her post, and I quote, I am so very sad and hope that people will reach inside and find that spark of human humanness, especially now when the center truly needs us all banded together. And do you know what happened to her post? Somebody deleted it. And that, that shouldn't have happened. She was just speaking from her, her heart for a concern about the rescue center. And I was very saddened to hear that that post was uh, deleted. It, it really shouldn't have been. We here at the rescue center have grown so much this past six months, especially the last six months through Ustream. We are frequently being featured on the front page of Ustream and almost always on the front page of the Pets and Animals. 
This has brought many, many new people to our rescue center. I've said it many times to the chatters. It means also that we have a huge blend of people's personalities. My wish, and this is just my personality, is that we can all just get along. Always in my life, I enjoy people. I enjoy interacting with people and meeting new people. I also enjoy getting along um, as a friend with everyone. Emotionally, that's just the way I'm built. But intellectually, I know that when you blend this many people together, that not all personalities are going to be happy together. But still, we all have a choice in this. We have a choice whether to be snappy with one another on the chat or to be friendly and welcoming. We have a choice whether to ban somebody because of some something that was said. Our moderators are really, really great, and they put up with a lot of stuff, and I appreciate our moderators. So be patient with them. They're trying to do the best job that they can also. But all of us as chatters make a choice whether the personality that we're going to show on that chat line is going to be one where we pick on each other or whether we are open and friendly. Um, I didn't write this in here, but just... Last night, uh, one of our little friends came with her grandma, and she came over here. And you guys all know, almost all my volunteers, grandkids, this little grandchild came over and started chatting. A lot of you have chatted with her, and she enjoys it. But somebody, and I'm thinking it was probably a troll, popped on there and said some something. And I don't know what it was because I did not go back in and see what it was, but that it made her very sad and hurt her feelings. I also don't know who the chat or who the moderator was, but that moderator um, kicked or banned that person off right away. And you guys were real quick, from what I understand, uh, telling her that you were very sorry that that happened. But this is a little girl, and she still made her sad. So I tried to help her understand through her family that it's like, in school, you know, our moderators are like our teachers, and these trolls are like the bullies on the playground. And when they say something mean and harsh, you still hear those words until that bully is gone. So I thank our our moderators for what you do. And for I know a lot of you have emailed me on complaints about things the moderators have done or said. But please keep in mind, they too are also trying to blend and help everybody to get along um, on the chat. It's a big job. It just seems that lately, whether it's in chat or by PMs or by Facebook, that we have more discord here than we've ever have had in the past. The computer and the world it opens up to us is awesome, but it can also bring problems. The drama that can be produced by this ability to be in contact with so many people is becoming a bit overwhelming to me and the rescue center. I have had more than a couple of people tell me they equate it, equate the drama with junior high slash high school bickering. Now I love the interaction that we have, the friendships we have made, knowing people from all over the world now. The bonds that we have all made, and you too, you guys have made wonderful friends with each other. The support that we receive from Ustream is absolutely amazing. This support may be in financial help, by votes, by friendships, by, by knowing that there is a whole network of people that genuinely care about this rescue center. This is huge to me. It means a lot to me. Even though most of the Ustream people I have never personally physically met, I feel that we have made hundreds of friendships, and I treasure this. But my life is so very full right now with running the rescue center, with my husband and our family, with my friends, dealing with the death of my dad, making sure everything is working properly here, making sure the farm animals are taken care of, keeping the book work up on the rescue center, Checking and being sure our cats are being adopted into good homes, paying the bills, keeping up with all the phone calls, keeping track of the health of each and every cat, 
the list goes on and on and on. But lately, I feel like I'm being pulled into too much drama, and I don't like undue drama. I don't, I just simply am not that kind of person that likes, I don't like drama. I have too much to do to be pulled into drama. It makes me sad and upset when I see someone being picked on on the chat for possibly asking a simple question. I get upset when people are talking badly about a volunteer and really not knowing what they are talking about. This place cannot run without my volunteers. It makes me upset when someone says unkind things about our chatters. It upsets me when a person that's been a chatter with us for two years gets banned because of saying something that wasn't cat related. It used to be we would only have maybe 25 to 50 people watching the video. Now frequently there are five to 600 people on at one time. People need to realize that what is printed on the chat is read by not only the other viewers and all those who are just viewers, not chatters in their homes, but by the visitors here and by the volunteers that are here and the families of our volunteers that are here. It's right there in plain sight for everybody to see. Unkind things that are being read can hurt deeply. These are the things that I wish for. I wish that people would be more kind and thoughtful to each other. I wish that people would be very helpful in answering questions to the new people. And our moderators are really good at that and a lot of you long-term um, chatters are good at that. And if you don't know the answers, email me and I will help you with those answers and then you can get back to those people. I wish that people would think before voicing their harsh opinions of others. I wish that as a group, we would be united again. I wish that as a rescue center, all are made to feel welcome again. I wish that as a director, I didn't have to deal with petty drama type things. I can run this rescue center. I love it and I can do it. And it is my dream to continue running this rescue center. But when there's so much drama and negative thoughts, it eats up the energy that I need to do a good job. I'm generally a very optimistic and positive person, full of hope for this rescue center. And I need to keep on track to make this rescue center work. Now, that all being said, I need to thank you all for the support you have given to us. And by saying support, that doesn't just mean financial support. It can be by your votes, by your encouraging words, by your friendship, your boxes and cards, treating each other with respect, guidance for the computer, sending us screenshots and pictures for the new website, by calling me to tell me when the computer is down, by your encouraging emails, by cheering us on when we have an adoption, by telling me good morning when I first come out to start the day. There's so many things that you all do to help this rescue center be a positive place. And last is I truly believe with my whole heart that 95 to 99% of the people that view us are kind and considerate, compassionate people. Let's not let that odd percent of people destroy what we have. Let's get the, all this discord over with. Let's function as a kind group of people. And let's all of us get back on track of being thoughtful and kind to one another. That's all I have. Um, I love this rescue center. I love having us on Ustream. It's just the drama stuff that is just getting me down. So I'm going to switch stools so I can scoot over here and see the chat a little better. Yeah, and, and you may have to go slow because I may miss some questions. Thank you, Kitty. Kitty Simon. Yes, Tommy, please. Thank you, Val. Thank you, Canton. Thank you, Mary, to you and Bubba and moderators. Yes. Hummer, thank you. Musi. Jobo, yay. Stinky Pete, oh, I see a wonderful bunches of names that I know. More viewers. Yes, we are getting more viewers. Annie P, Bella, I missed a whole bunch of names there, but I saw them. Socks. 
Uh, Light, Sarah, oh, all you guys. Newfie, Wildfire, Chief. Hunter, Madison, thank you. Michelin. But it's about time, huh? <laughs> no, we, we're fine. I don't have any boxes for tonight, so we're just going to carry on. If anybody has anything you want to say... I knew. Oh. Well, Cricket, I'm glad you're back. I am glad you're back. Thank you, Cindy. That you, Tommy, you are absolutely right. Respectful to people and at the center on chat and the other ver and the face group. That's right. Thank you, Six. You are, Anna Marie, you are absolutely right. And I know my chat is behind because I held it up so I could read. We have people from all over the world. We need to be helpful to them. You're welcome, Mrs. Snappy. Kitty, thank you. It's about the kitty. Leany, you are correct. Thank you, Linda, Candy. Um, Jill, I'm thinking about that. Yep, we're going to be fine. We are going to be fine. It needed, yes, it needed to be cleared up. Thank you, Cape Cod. Oh, such wonderful. I know you guys' names. I love it. Sassy, thank you. Thank you, B. Yeah, we want we don't want people to leave because they've been hurt. We want people to stay here and be a part of what we do. Okay, well, Sherry, hang on to that thought for a minute. I'm gonna get caught up here. Oh, thank you, Bets. Thank you, Night Star, Hencast. Yep. Right. I yeah. Uh, yeah. Politics is something I don't get into either. <laughs> yeah. I don't do drama. It's you know what? There's so much good things that we can do, and we are so busy trying to do those good things that um, drama doesn't play a part in this for me. I can't do it. Thank you, Ann Sprinkle, little chap. Ridge and Pete. Oh, Cricket, thank you. Um, I'm not sure, Cricket. Try it again. Thank you, everybody. I'm trying to catch up here. Yeah, just, you know, people, we're, we're all from, there's so many of us, and we all, just because we have our opinions doesn't mean that somebody else can't have their opinions. And as long as we're respectful to one another, that's all it takes. <laughs> it's a golden rule. That's a good one, Seb. Boy, I am way behind. Badu and who was it? And Putter being our mods. Yeah, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna have a surprise for you guys with the floor. I I'm not gonna tell you though. I do care about you guys, and I do like having you guys here with us, and that's why we needed to clear all this up. I 
I'm sorry, Cricket, that that happened. Well, we want you back, Cricket. <laughs> yeah, it's unbelievable how many countries we have involved here. <laughs> I'm happy about that, Leamy. Oh my, I'm just so far behind. Yeah, you know what one of my signs say out in the front office? It says, be nice or go away. And I love that sign. Oh, you know what Tommy just said, and I know I'm way behind you guys. If there's a troll in chat, do not respond to these trolls. Seek attention. Who seek attention, the more you respond, the more it continues. You are right on, Tommy. And if they, they don't straighten up, the mods will boot them. Oh. Thank you guys for your support. I... I, I appreciate that. And the goo care you give them. <laughs> From Sweden. We have a website. Yes, can somebody put the website up there so it's in print? Oh. Um, can one of the mods change the chat? Maybe you have already so you can print maybe now. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting caught up a little bit. If you can't say anything nice, yeah, don't say it at all. Yeah, thank you, Tommy. Oh, Bats, that was nice. Wow. Um, Lady Doc, maybe I can. It's kind of long, but I, get, I actually was thinking about that myself. Yeah, Anna Marie made a good point. The mods have told us that when a troll shows up, we should stop talking so they can catch them right away so it doesn't get wrapped up in all the conversation you know they just pop from one site to the next yeah moderating is not an easy thing and they have it way harder than what i have it because i can't get on the chat very much oh silly do you think Gus recorded that i was actually going to ask her if she would Cricket, um, Cricket, please, please don't ever hesitate to ask questions. I, I, I don't want anybody to ever be afraid to ask questions. And if you want to, you can always email me. I'm pretty good at keeping up on my emails. And um, so, if you want to email me any questions about Tilo, just, just give me a. Um, just email me and I'll help you. Yep, we, that's what we want. We want this to be a welcoming group of people. Good. I'm glad. Uh, yep, the mods are cool. Yeah, CJ says, please avoid politics, religion, and decline. Please avoid decline also. And hopefully no one will be insulted or hurt in the chat. Ugh. Where's Sunny? Well, glad to have you, Jake. <laughs> I like group hugs. 
Yep, let me find them here in just a minute. Um, Severin, yeah, I, you know, I try, I've been trying to figure that out. I had a little system here, but I've got to figure that out. And I, I agree, I, my grandkids know they better be staying back away from it farther, but I think I need to post that so everybody knows. Even visitors sometimes likes to stand right smack by it so they can see themselves. So we'll, I will have to work on that. Good. I'm glad you feel welcome. Yeah, you guys are all so helpful. Yeah, decline is a forbidden subject here. And I think I'm almost caught up. Sharky, yes, please. Should not talk to. Oh, okay. Well, hey, Severin, let me see what Sharky wants. Hi, Clem. And then um, we, yeah, that we can talk about. Okay, well, sh Cricket, I'm not sure where that came from, but please forgive us. And I'm just glad you're here. Okay, Skeetikins, um, give us your suggestion. I'm waiting on um, I'm waiting on Sharky. And <laughs> who's cleaning their hiney behind me? Oh dear. I've tried both sides on the declaw, and I just, I can't, you know, it's just a very complicated thing. Okay, do we have anything from, okay, I'm thinking about you. Oh, Sharky, you are very welcome. Just keep us posted, okay, on how things are going for you and your kitty. Uh, well, we're glad you're here, New York cat lover. Night, Linda. Thank you, Texas. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, let's talk about that real quick, about the cam. If, I believe all the moderators have my phone number. If the cam goes down at night, it is okay to call me. But just one person. I have my cell phone and two house phones right beside me on the counter. So I can hear it. And I do not mind coming out here and restarting the cam. I really do not mind. Um, thanks, English. So please don't hesitate to have, a, have maybe a moderator or somebody designate one person to call. Whoops, I was supposed to address a question. <laughs> I forget what it was. Bye, Jobo. Glad you're here. Give your kitty a hug. Yeah, you know, there's nothing wrong. I know a lot of, and I do it too, are personal problems. And are on Facebook. That That is not an issue. We are all people. We all have problems. We all have our things. It's just, um, let's stay away from declaws. No, I think all that is perfectly fine to do, Michelin. I really do. Hi, Lens. That's exactly right, Tommy. <laughs> Yeah, you guys know all my jammies. It's embarrassing. Yeah, thank you. Is it K-Mergen? K 
good. Oh, yeah, teacup. Heck yeah. We love blankies here. We use a lot of them. Bantry maybe can um, explain to English what a mod is so I can keep on going here. <laughs> I'm a jammy girl too, yeah. I try to walk real fast by the cam so you can't see them. <laughs> yeah, we are all adults. <laughs> uh, sometime I'm going to get some real weird jammies and so you can see those and shock y'all. <laughs> I will tell him, Clem. I don't know about Becky's phone. Oh, I felt so bad about that. Aw. <laughs> Hummer, did you see that? Actually, I have... <laughs> Now, now I'm talking. I have two tattoos. I have a butterfly with a S and a J on it, and then I have my a very special kitty on my other on my other ankle. Yes, we do have kids that are watching. Actually, I think my grandchildren, two, three of my grandkids, are on right now. Thanks everybody for your support. I was afraid I would offend somebody, and I did not want to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Anna Marie. Ladybug? Uh-huh. Well, let me, you show me yours, Lainey, and I'll show you mine. Oh, boxer, boxer day. No, no. <laughs> yeah, Friday's going to be fun. I hope I did too, Sassy. Thank you all. Yeah, and you know as well as I do, we know there's children watching. You know what? My tattoos are my kids' fault. I always tell them that. Yeah, I took Ohio ink. I always tell them it's Karen's fault and Dawn's fault. It's Jaken. <clears throat> I was pronouncing it Jason, but Tommy told me it's Jaken with like a K sound. <laughs> Aw, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Um,. Oh, is, is Karen on? Kendra Karen. There's there's two of my girls. Or one of them. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, you know, um, let me get caught up. Okay, I am caught up on this and I just can we just stop for a minute? Can one of the um can one of the mods stop the chat for a minute? Oh, you guys are good. You guys are good. Okay, the subject about children. Um, thank you. Um, there are some of the kids that come here all the time that love to be here. They're connected with the volunteers. Well, including my grandchildren. They like to chit-chat with um, you webcammers. And the grandkids that I know that come, some of them like to chit chat. I don't like them to get, you know, right smack here so they're right, they block the cam. But I think what Severin was talking about is the talking. Um, I think it's very important, and I've talked to all of the kids that I know of that they are not to give their last names and they do not give out personal information. What's really nice is that when you webcammers ask these kids to show them certain cats, they love to do that. And these kids know uh, the cats as well or sometimes better than some of the regular volunteers. And they 
uh, grow in their own self-confidence in what they are doing and they feel very important to show you the cat that you have asked for and it, uh, there's one, one of the girls in particular I'm thinking of has been very shy and this little girl opens up like a flower when she is here and if you people would have known her before she came here you would be amazed at the difference that it has made in her to be able to converse with your web cameras. So I don't think it's a bad idea at all, um, but I just hope, and moderators can help with this, to if anybody uh, that's uh, not a regular asks the kids personal questions, mods can pop in and say simple and easy, no personal questions to the children. Um, we don't have a lot of the kids that like to chit chat, but there's enough of them that I would never want to take it away from them. It, it's important to them and uh, they grow with it. Okay, that's all I had to say. Or inappropriate words. Oh, please, please, never, even if there's no children here, I don't like to see inappropriate words. My mom would have washed my mouth out with soap. Okay, we're good. It is, it is. I love to see how the kids interact with them. Good. Him and your mom, your mom. Yeah. Yeah. And all my dad had to do was stick his lower lip out, and I knew that I had done something wrong. I don't think there's anything wrong in asking their ages. Not at all. Yeah. Thank you, Goosty, for letting me know that. I, I was sure as the world I had to be a troll, and that's what I told them. Harsh and Durham, nothing harsher. That's right, Lady Doc. That's my language. <laughs> yeah, they do. They love these kitties. Okay, kitty show. Bye, Beth. Take care. Tomorrow, you want to pick up Sesame Cat Cataman? <laughs> oh, is my sister Nancy on? Is Nancy Nancy on? I don't see her. 